Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Tatiana, a fairy queen, and I'm going to do some reverse stamping. I've got the Nail Teaks Formula 2 down as my base coat, and the A. England Tatiana, fairy queen, from the Shakespeare Collection, and I topped it off with Quick Dry Fast Coat. Fast Dry Top Coat. <laughs> Here's the Queen Marble Paradise 01 plate. It's the water marble plate. And I'll be using my new Replacement Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. And my Fabernail Scraper. And the Nicole Diary NS11. It's a very pretty light purple. I'll be using the OPI Color Paints, pen and pink, to fill in the design with a little dotting tool. And I will also be using that Yellow Stopper again today. I've just decided that's the way to do the stamping to make them images stick to the nail. And here we go, nice pickup. And I'm just gonna, I've got some dab, some of that pen and pink dab, dabbed out on a piece of tape. And I'm just gonna kind of just dot this in here willy nilly, nothing. I wasn't going for anything particular. Um, I'm very glad to have my monocle stamper back. Um, now the holder is from Wish. I believe and um, what had happened with my old stamper was the bottom that you look through had gotten all scratched up and cloudy so the new plan is, is to always store this with the cap facing down onto the table because I don't care what the cap looks like if it gets scratched up but I want to be able to see through it so I'm really really happy to have my favorite clear stamper back and I'm going to use this other image to do on my accent nail. Of course, in the end, you really can't tell. It's not a huge difference. And that is my Beauty Big Bang stamper. And I'm doing the same with it that I did with the other image. And I'm just dotting some of this um, pen and pink from OPI. And I really wish I'd gone with more of a, a more jelly-like polish. I didn't, I wasn't thinking about this being a little more opaque than what I was shooting for. But in the end, it all worked out, um, you know. But I really, really do enjoy doing this technique. And for me, it's it's just easy, um, especially now that I'm using a tacky base before I stamp these decals under my nails. It's making the transfer a lot easier, and, and I really like that. And I guess when I set mine to dry, I let them dry from anywhere from, you know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending on how thick of, um, you know, polish that we're adding on to that decal. And here we go. I'm going to get this positioned so that I can stamp it onto the nail. And I have applied that sticky uh, yellow stopper. To help make sure that that decal really sticks down to the nail and I don't get too much curling up from the other pieces of it. You saw I had a little bit, but not too bad. And I have used a bunch of different stampers. This is my old Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. See how scratched up that is? Mm-hmm. But for this, it was fine. Tapping everything down, kind of mushing it in on the sides and the tip. But I really wanted to do a manicure where some of that Tatiana Fair Queen, Fair Queen peeked through. Getting that southern drawl thing going on too hard today. I apologize. But I really wanted that to peek through and still, you know, pop out from under everything and be visible. Because it is gorgeous. And here's the last one. And I do tap on that. I, saw, I don't know if you saw me tap on that. But it's to make sure that I'm not leaving fingerprints. So that tells me that it's mostly dry and ready to go on the nail. If you're still seeing indentions from your fingerprint, then it's still too wet. You, you want to wait a little bit longer, I can, I can tell you. I've done it. We're going to go in and do some cleanup. And today I'm just using one of those little elf, white elf brushes. That This one I got at Walmart. Um, and it's doing a really good job of cleaning up. It's a nice little firm brush, and that's what I'm looking for in a brush. I wish it was a little thinner, maybe, and more angled, but 
out of, out of all the brushes I've been playing with so far, this is this is a really good one. And it's actually the brush that I used to use religiously, so it's kind of like finding an old friend again. There we go. We're just taking that acetone and that cleanup brush and just going around and getting that excess decal off of the finger. And then I'm tapping the sides over here to get some of that excess off. And I'm out of frame here. I will come into frame and then go out of frame again. But um, you just, I just get up under there because I do not like those globs of polish up under my fingernail. And then some more wiping and swiping. And I'll frame again. Sorry. Um, when you concentrate, you kind of lose track of where your hand is. And just tap that and make it sure it's all smooth. And I'm going to be using this Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat today. I've been using this a little bit here lately. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's an amazing polish. It really is smudge free. I've not had it smudge anything and I've tried to make it smudge. But it stinks. And it is thin. So I am going to top it with some of the Pro FX Top Coat, the Quick Dry. I like everything to dry fast. Um, and also, I want to build up that top coat because, like I said, that the No Monster one's kind of thin, so I want a thicker top coat. Hello, Woody. How you doing? So there we go. Here comes my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. That is all I have for today, so thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.